Well, good morning there, YouTube. I'm Chris. Make another video here. Today I'm in the Brooksville Cemetery in Brooksville, Florida. It's about 104 out today with the heat index, 11 o'clock in the morning. Can't wait for summer. So I figured I'd give you a quick tour here. I'll end the video. What I think is a special little boy that's buried here in the early 1900s. I'll let you meet him right before we uh, end this video. So I will uh, give you a quick tour and talk while I'm going here. And hopefully if you like my videos, you'll start to subscribe to me and like it. Like my videos. Leave me some comments. I'm trying to make this channel work. I'll show you guys around. You guys don't have to come out in the heat. So, I'll flip the camera here. This is the first grave that's here. This is Charlotte. She was murdered in 1842 by Seminoles, traveling from Dade City to Brooksville. I am filming today on my iPhone. One lesson I learned, always make sure that even though you think that your GoPro has a full charge, always check it before you leave the house. So hopefully this isn't too jittery. I'm walking with the camera today, so I'll do my best. There's another cool individual here, Walter. Passed away in 1910. It's pretty cool they have his picture I'm all the way back then on his grave. The cemetery does contain a lot of Civil War vets. A couple notable people around the county. Nice monument there. Our uh, local Springstead High School, where I graduated from many years ago. Uh, Mr. Springstead is buried here. A lot of older graves that are now past the time where you can really read the names on them anymore. I don't really think there's a way to really clean them up without damaging them, so they leave them like that. For those who ever um, come to cemeteries like this, you know, unless it's the grave of your loved one, they always tell you, you know, you probably shouldn't touch the graves, touch the tombstones. Make it a little bit more easier for them to get damaged. A lot of them are pretty delicate after so many years. Especially being out here in this intense Florida heat day after day. Our crazy storms, our hurricanes. There is about 5,900, almost 6,000 people buried here. This is a very famous family here. This is the heirs. They were one of the founding settlers of Fernando County. Had a major road named after him. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is another famous last name we're coming up here. This is the family of Saxton. There's a famous historical house in Hernando County he used to live in it's pretty haunted do ghost tours it is a museum I've been in the house didn't feel anything though nothing my personal experience a beautiful mausoleum there 1916 this is General Wilson. Not sure where he fought. A beautiful monument here, him and his wife. Let the rest in peace.
they stir bury up to today. They're still burying here, so there's not a retired cemetery. Named Dawson there. It's quite a piece of work there. A lot of old beautiful trees in this cemetery. Makes it very peaceful, very surreal here. A lot of birds, butterflies flying around. So I'm going to keep this video short. Start heading over to the little boy I told you about. He uh, died at the age of nine years old from an appendicitis, which in today, appendicitis is standard medical procedure. You're in out of the hospital. They catch it before it bursts within a day or so. I had one done myself. You know, a few people have had their appendix removed and it's no big deal anymore. But unfortunately, this little boy here lost his life because of it being in the early 1900s. I really didn't know what to do back then. I'll show you this beautiful plant here before. But this is him. This is Mr. William Henry Varn. This is, in fact, a lifestyle statue of him. I have seen other videos where people try to do EVP readings off of him and try to talk to him. And I don't think that's right. I understand people are into that kind of thing, but this is more of just remembering people. Not bothering people. You know, William's at rest and his parents are next to him. This is Tilly. This is Whitman. So that's the, the parents of him. So they're all together as family again. I couldn't imagine losing anybody this young. But I did bring him a small gift. I know how kids like toys and I decided to pick up a small fire truck today for him. I know he passed before fire trucks he were even around back then. But hopefully he'll get to play with that. know William that you're not forgotten about I hope you're resting in peace with your parents I'll turn this around again so I'm going to go ahead and take off out of here I'm soaking wet and sweat very uh, very humid out again today in Florida it looks like it's trying to rain so I'll come back here during the winter time and do a longer video. There's a baby and infant section. It's really depressing to see, but you know it's part of life. We all get to live to be a hundred. Some of us are put here and taken away the same day. I guess that's just higher powers plan. So whatever you believe in, but. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I really hope to pick up some subscribers. I'm going to go to some more cemeteries around here. There's a pretty cool one I'd like to take you guys to in Tampa. Mr. Ebor's buried and a couple pirates. 
other notable governors and stuff like that. Some of the first people to live in Tampa. So next time I'm down there, I'll definitely take you guys there with me. And uh, so my next video. Take it easy, guys.